Debunking Evolution, Whale Stories A just-so story. Once upon a time a deer decided to go for a swim, and so it evolved flippers and became a whale. Or maybe it was a bear that did this, or maybe a hippopotamus. Here is the, science, version, with no offense meant. Our working hypothesis for the origin of whales is that Rao Elid ancestors, although herbivores or omnivores on land, took to fresh water in times of danger. The Wisson et al., Nature, 2007. Evolution believers believe that a deer-like creature, or a bear-like creature, or a hippo-like creature, evolved into a whale over a period of about 10 million years. However, rather inconveniently, science falsifies that just-so story. In this video, we provide a brief overview of how and why science falsifies that story. Thesis 1. Fossil ancestry is just bedtime storytelling. Quote, paleontologist and evolutionary biologist Dr. Henry G. To take a line of fossils and claim that they represent a lineage is not a scientific hypothesis that can be tested, but an assertion that carries the same validity as a bedtime story. Amusing, perhaps even instructive, but not scientific. Henry G., In Search of Deep Time, 1999. Thesis 2. Similarity does not prove common ancestry. 1. Story 1. In one version of the story, a deer-like creature became a whale, over 10 million years. 2. Quote, indo -hyas. A small, stocky artiodactyl, roughly the size of the raccoon Procyon Lotor. It was not an adept swimmer. Instead it waded in shallow water, with its heavy bones providing ballast to keep its feet anchored. indo may have fed on land, although a specialized aquatic diet is also possible. The modern artiodactyl morphologically most similar to indo is probably the African mouse deer, the Wisson et al., Nature, 2007. 3. My comment. This was claimed to be a whale ancestor based on tooth and ear morphology, limb bone density, and oxygen isotope values, as a measure of similar habitat and diet. 4. However, similarity is not proof of common ancestry, because similarity can arise from a. Convergent evolution, b. Common functional requirements, c. Common structural requirements, and d. Common design. 5. Story 2. In a similar story, hippo-like creatures allegedly evolved into whales. And, here is a quote from a paper that confirms what we have stated above, about convergent evolution, not requiring common ancestry. 6. Quote. Yet despite some shared specializations for life in the water, it is currently unclear to what extent cetaceans and hippos evolved these adaptations independently, i.e., convergent evolution, or whether they are ancestral traits, i.e., common ancestry, although some fossil evidence suggests the former, i.e., convergent evolution. Sadco, Georgia, Royal Society Open Science, 2015. 7. My comment. Notice that convergent evolution can explain the similarity between past hippos and whales. So, such items of similarity do not prove that whales evolved from past hippos. The same is the case with indo or deer-like creatures. Conclusion. Similarity does not prove whale-hippo or whale indo common ancestry. Thesis 3. Genetics falsifies whale evolution. 1. The scientific literature indicates that 10 to 30 percent of genes are orphan genes, in a species, with no homology and other taxa. Whales have about 21,000 protein coding genes. This means 2,000 to 7,000 are orphan genes. A generous lower bound is 1,000 orphan genes. Eukaryotic proteins average around 472 amino acids. So, gene length is 1,416 nucleotides. Functional percentage base pairs is 30 percent, so 425 functional NT. So, whale evolution requires 1,000 orphan genes, or 425,000 functional NT base pairs. 2. For a typical evolving mammal population, with 10,000 members, and 20-year reproduction, to fix a string of two nucleotides requires 84 million years, and five nucleotides requires 2 billion years. Sanford et al., Theoretical Biology and Medical Modeling, 2015. Another paper has estimated the time required as 216 million years for two nucleotides. However, we will use the lower number here. 3. Scaling this to a 5-year reproductive age, for whales, and 2-year reproductive age, for deer, gives us 8 million years for a 2-nucleotide functional string, and 200 million years for a 5-NT string. Note. We have only 10 million years available for evolution of a deer-like creature to a whale. And that requires 425,000 functional nucleotide base pair strings. In the available 10 million years we can generate and fix only two required nucleotides. This is far short of the 425,000 functional nucleotide base pairs that we need for whale evolution. Conclusion. So, genetics falsifies whale evolution. 4. The scientific literature indicates that waiting time is exponential with required string length. 
That is why 2NT requires 8 million years, whereas 5NT requires 200 million years. Based on an exponential relationship, 10NT should take 32 billion years, longer than the 14 billion year age of the universe. So, this places a clear limit on how much evolution can accomplish, and it definitely cannot create and fix the 425,000 NT needed for the evolution of whales from a deer-like creature or a hippo-like creature. 5. To establish 10 base pairs requires 32 billion years. And to establish the needed 425,000 base pairs would require trillions and trillions of years, if that were even possible. Conclusion. So, genetics falsifies whale evolution. Genetics shows that there is not enough time in the entire 14 billion year history of the universe for the naturalistic evolution of whales. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.